Fox News host Janine Pirro had a testy exchange with a guest on Saturday night, as a dicus sign of the North Korean negotiations derailed into an argument about Trump's possible collusion with Russia to steal the 2016 election. He's already got three hostages back, something Obama couldn't do, Pirro said. Obama couldn't free the hostages this because two of the three were taken in 2017, after his presidency ended. But things got heated when Democratic strategist Mustafa Tamiz and Fox News contributor Sarah Carter started talking about Trump's preparation for North Korean negotiations. I see him tweeting quite often, Tamiz said, urging Pirro to tell the president to focus on the upcoming negotiations. Let me tell you something about Donald Trump, he can do tailspins around anyone, Pirro said. The guy doesn't sleep. He works 24 hours a day. Things really went off the rails when Tamiz started repeating basic facts about the Mueller investigation and the timeline of events in the campaign. The people we were talking to were actually talking to Russians, and they've actually pled guilty to lying to the FBI, he said. Either we can talk about alternative facts or we can talk about facts. He then explained that 18 Russians have been indicted and six other people have plead guilty. That has nothing to do with Russia. Screamed Carter. I think President Trump is distracted by these things, Tamiz said. We have to focus on what's really important. You know what, cut it out. Cut it out. Hiro yelled. I'm not going to listen if you don't answer my question. All the evidence shows that the FISA warrant was based on real evidence, he said, explaining that Australian intelligence had flagged the contacts. Yeah, fake dossier. Hiro yelled. There is no proof that anybody in the Trump campaign ever colluded or did anything with the Russians. Yelled Carter.